Far away, in the internet forest, there lived a little caterpillar called Coaxial. Coaxial, at one time in his life, the backbone for most networks. As you can see, Coaxial is quite a fat little caterpillar. This is so he can do lots of jobs without getting stressed. Coaxial can reach 300 feet into the air before fading out and having to find his friend Repeater to be able to carry on. Coaxial is looking for his friend Ruta so that he can interact with the butterflies that they can play. He can't connect directly to the butterflies to interact as they are wireless and he's wired. Ruta is running around in the trees somewhere passing messages between other caterpillars and butterflies so that they can interact and Coaxial needs to find and connect to Ruta as well. Bruta and Caterpillar have been friends for a very long time and it is important they stay friends if they want the network to work. The butterflies have a larger range than Coaxial and connect to a Bruta as long as they are in range. They don't need to worry about having to find and connect to him directly. They just need to remember the passcode that will have been set up so that Bruta knows they are allowed to talk to others. Oh hello guys, haven't seen you two for a while. Want nothing, just flying about the forest. Would you like to play with us? Sure, why not? You'll have to tell me the right password first though. That's right. Now, what do you want to play? Whilst Coaxial is walking along, he feels like he's being followed. But when he turns around, he can't see anyone there. He continues walking until he hears a voice. Hello there. Coaxial stops and turns back around, realising that he's being followed by the mysterious infrared that no one can ever see. Infrared has a very short range compared to everyone else, so it has to stand very close whilst trying to talk to you, and it has to be directly in your line of sight as well so that he can see you. Hello there, on the mysterious infrared that nobody will ever see. Where are you off to today? I'm going to find my friends. Oh, awesome. Can I come with you? I'm not sure if that's a good idea, Mr. Infrared. I've only just met you. Pretty please. I don't have any other friends. Oh, okay then. I'll let you follow. Thank you very much. Wait, what's that sound? Yes, yeah. It's my annoying little brother. I have to go. Take my ID and I'll see you later. Infrared is also not very quick. But that's okay, as infrared fire transfer isn't used as much nowadays so he can relax. A suitable replacement is around though, and this guy is called Bluetooth. Bluetooth is very similar to the butterflies. If he has made a connection with them before, all he has to do is remember the code they set up between them, and they'll be able to transfer data easily. Hey John, do me a favour and send me them just the Bieber songs again. What did I do to get linked with you? Of course, he has to be nearby. It's no good if Bluetooth is shouting looking for someone when the receiver is not around, is it? Saying that, he is loud. He can shout up to 100 metres. Bluetooth comes from a large family. His brothers and sisters can be found everywhere. In phones, in laptops and in PDAs. Hi, Timmy. I'd say you're in trouble for sending me that virus. Bluetooth's drawback is his power usage. After a while, he gets tired and either has to be turned off or recharged. After a little bit of a natter, they must part ways. Coaxial still needs to find Ruta. I have to take my brother home. If I see you again, we must play together. Bye Infrared! Bye Bluetooth! Now, back to the search. After a long trip, Coaxial at last has found Ruta. This network of what you call friends is now up and running. They can play and play all they want. At the end of a long day, it's time for these guys to get some rest, don't you think? First, the butterflies disconnect from the router and fly home. Bye butterflies! Router usually powers down once everyone else is gone. He'll head back to his tree and curl up for the night. Coaxial now has to have another journey, all the way back home. So, without haste, he picks up his little feet and heads off home, ready to do all of this again. <laughs>